Hello everyone, I'm Jonas and today I will be going through the early parts of my level design process. For the few of you who have watched my level design workflow video, uh, at the beginning I show myself starting out with some sketches, um, sketches in Photoshop and then I do uh, sort of 3D sketching and then eventually I will uh, keep working until I have a sort of design that I start to refine until it becomes an actual level. So today I will be going through the process. I have this Photoshop uh, part here where I, whoops, wrong way, where I have done my first sketches of just small gameplay areas that I think are interesting. And then uh, I move on into into UDK, which for some reason has extra buttons up here. Okay. Um, so I move into UDK and then I just replicate this sketches here. Um, not perfectly of course. In some ways the uh, the basic scale is off because I always choose to work like the standard size for a corridor for me when I start sketching is uh, 384 units wide and 256 units high just because it snaps easier to the grid and it's it's a fairly decent standard size like you can uh, it's always easier to make it smaller afterwards than it is to scale it up so once I've uh, done my sketching and moved it into UDK what I do uh, in this case I've done um, like I've limited myself to 384 no 3584 units um, just because I want to uh, basically limit myself to a certain size and in this case I want to make a sort of two or three player map um, and I don't want to get it out of hand so what I've done is I've set the base to 3584 units because it's a multiple of 256 um, so I'll be working with that and I've actually got a sped up video here where I start out one of the layouts as you can see I'm just I started at uh, three and a half K units but uh, then I just changed it because I want it to be a multiple uh, just so it snaps to the grid um, when I'm working with this I have the grid snapped to uh, 16 units you could probably work with 32 as well um, because I'm making nearly all the walls 32 units either way um, and as you can see here I've started I picked one of the uh, one of the units from the left and then I just move it in um, on the right side here you can see I have sort of a drop down that's supposed to not have any stairs so I move it up a level so instead of jumping down just one level you move from the third level to the first I suppose um, and then I picked another piece from the puzzle because as you can see here I'm basically just using these as sort of Lego pieces where um, you start off by making them and then you try to puzzle them together and once you have something uh, because it's always hard to start from nothing and then basically work on your design it's much easier to start from something and then move on to a more advanced something um, so as you can see here it's three stairs left right and front and then it's four pillars in the middle um, so that's the second piece I will move up and grab a third piece here I suppose and as you can see I'm just deleting uh, because I have floor parts on these as well and I don't need them because I have the uh, the bigger piece below here um, and again just move it and slide it into position and then uh, so this has some sort of weird angled pillars and then I move and look for another part um, and again I move it off to the side remove the floor and put it into uh, a position so this is my basic start for making a level um, it as you can see it's pretty fast um, even though I sped up this video 
um, I'm able to make most of a basic layout in maybe a couple of hours. Uh, at the end I will show you another layout that I made using these same pieces and I put like three or four hours into that one because it um, it's a more complete layout than I will get in this video uh, and it also has a few uh, basic player models just to show scale and uh, it's more refined basically because this um, this basic layout that I get using the pieces here it's not a complete map because it's a good place to start but you won't really want to play this because it's just so unrefined and it's likely that it's not going to be very balanced at all uh, in the second layout that I will show uh, I'm actually worried that the high ground uh, the third level is too too good so I've placed uh, two of the three weapons as well as uh, armor power up uh, on the very first level just because I want uh, players to move down um, so once you have your basic layout and you have um, you're just added some pickups and some sp spawns you can basically start to test the map as you can see here I'm just choosing the uh, the basic door frame model it's pretty much the only model that I use at this point because um, it's I use it in nearly all my levels just because I know the exact size and as you can see it fits pretty well on the 384 by 256 scale so I have something to go by and I just don't have to make up my own uh, my own scale basically uh, so you see again I'm using the same sort of uh, weird sloped uh, pillar thingies again here um, I like them a lot actually I think I want to take the pieces of this one and use them in my other layout which is more refined uh, because again you don't expect to get a finished level by doing this uh, I'd actually recommend doing like uh, I don't know three or four maybe five uh, at maximum of these layouts using the same pieces and then once you're done you take the best pieces of the uh, I don't know what you call it, the alpha maps or something like that the early levels that you get and then you um, you take the best pieces and then you puzzle out how to combine those pieces because um, just starting off with yeah you can see me changing to unlit here because um, I'm starting to get shadows because I have the high walls um, just keep working expanding the upper level here and adding some walls so I still have the basic layout of the floor kept the same and I'm making sort of walkways um, I'm just gonna skip ahead a bit here because it's basically just more of the same and you should be getting the basic principle at this point so I'm starting to like the first floor is basically finished at this point um, so I'm starting to move on the next one and as you can see I'm not moving on one part and then uh, moving on to the next part and building a separate level uh, like one part at a time because uh, if you start doing that you will always have to sort of change the um, change the uh, I don't know how to say this but uh, you always have to make sure that everything you build fits with the stuff that's already finished if you have it finished in your mind which means that you can't really uh, you can't really do something creative with the new parts because you generally tend to build something really easy uh, and just fit it together with the bit that's already sort of finished so if you move from different parts of the map uh, like back and forth you will have an easier time of making uh, making different things basically as you can see here I just have uh, the upper, upper walkway and I'm trying to make sure 
um, that I have some sort of idea for how it's supposed to look uh, before I uh, before I start building the the rest of the upper floor here. Uh, at this point, I'm just start uh, keeping keeping working keep working on the first floor. Um, it's really early here, so I seem to have a bit of a problem with my English, but whatever. Uh, and again, I'm just changing it up again. Uh, I'll move down my cam tissue stuff here, and then I'll just jump ahead a bit. Um, here I've started working on the third level, so I have a ramp up from the left side here, and I'm just moving on, uh, or I'm working on the drop down, just adding walls basically. And looking around, I don't really have much to add because it should be fairly obvious what I'm doing at this point. Um, adding a wall or a roof over the pillars to add the second level. Now this part I d really don't like, like having the door just atop the other door is kinda iffy in my opinion. Uh, so I shouldn't have it like that. This is probably the first thing I would start working with uh, if I kept working on this design. Uh, I will actually upload the uh, the map file that I get at the end of this so you can look at it yourself or take the parts and do something else with it. Um, because I'm much happier with the uh, the last part that I will show you in this video than I am with this layout. Uh, unfortunately I didn't uh, record when I did the uh, the other one, so I didn't have the option to upload that. Uh, and when you're working with just the dev texture here, uh, if you want it to look a bit better, just add a single uh, directional light. Uh, don't add too much roofs, and then you just uh, select all brushes and apply a box uh, alignment which will mean that instead of having like these seams between areas you will have a nice flowing texture. Uh, it's just a little thing but you can do it before you start testing out your map because in my experience people tend to prefer the slightly better looking versions because it shows that you've you've just put a little bit of extra energy into it. And here I'm just making another ramp up to the second level. Mm, so you have this ramp here and then the one all the way on the left. And I should also add a third one. I don't remember. Uh, this is uh, starting to get close to the end of the recorded part here. It's just a few minutes left. So this is probably about as far as I get in this recording. Um, I will show you the the, the other version. Uh, so here it is. As you can see I have some lighting, I have a pickup at the bottom and I have a few player models just to show the scale. Um, and yep, I'm just showing that I'm using the same pieces. So I have a yellow lighting and sort of blue shadows. Um, and you can see the door frame model here as well. So, as you can see here, I've also uh, I basically start building with the same walls uh, all over, and then I try to remove as much of it as I can, because having an open layout uh, it means you get away from a lot of the sort of room corridor room syndrome that I talked about in my other video. Um, and here I'm actually using the same piece uh, as I do in the other video. This sort of 270 degree. Um, staircase thingy. Uh, yep, and I'm showing it again. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, I've already recorded this, so I'm just recording another video. And I'm moving down. 
Um, but yeah, try to keep your map as open as possible to begin with, and then add walls. If you if you test the map and you notice that some areas are overpowered because they have too much vision um, or something like that, you have to add walls. Like this one in the middle. Uh, I'm actually looking the wrong way. Uh, this, whoops, sorry. Uh, this big block in the middle here I just added because I felt that the high ground was too good because you can basically uh, from the left side over here you can uh, keep watch of that entire open area um, and you can jump across here so you can keep track of all of this and you can also run across the back side there to get to the third sort of big open area uh, but I'm using the same um, the same piece that I did in the other one uh, for the first level then I have another one with pillars here and then I have the sort of 270 degree thing here and this one is something I just made um, it's not very refined but there you have it so once you have a few of these sort of quick sketch levels then you can keep working you could even add like another level on top of this if you wanted to um, as you can see I could just remove a lot of this big block apart add another ramp like you could add it from here you could add a staircase here so you could basically you know, just keep working on it as long as you wanted to or until people take too much fall damage from jumping down it uh, but yeah as I said make a few of these take the parts you really liked and then keep working until you have one single finished design that you can then start detailing, lighting and get to a finished level. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.